Camila Wong works with Future Majority, a nonprofit that encourages young people to head to the polls. She remembers voting on campus at Western University in 2019. The first time that I voted on campus, the first time I voted in a federal election was at one of those on-campus polling stations when I was a third year at Western University. So I know how massive of an impact those programs can have on youth turnout. After starting as a pilot project for the 2015 election, the Vote on Campus program expanded to over 100 colleges and universities across the country in 2019 encouraging more young people to vote for the very first time. It also allowed students to vote in the writing they live in while at school, which for many is away from home. Decades of research come out that show that when you engage people young in democracy, you have a chance to create an entire generation of lifetime voters. So I really think that the cancellation of this program is a step in the wrong direction. Wong says voting age Canadians 35 and under now make up around 40% of the electorate. And according to research from Future Majority, the age group is looking for candidates to tackle climate change and affordability. Though some worry that young people will be discouraged from voting without ballot boxes on campus, Wong says this age group cares deeply about a lot of issues at stake in this election. I think that there's really important issues at the ballot and young people come out when there are important issues. We saw that in 2015, we saw that in 2019, and I think in this election, it's climate change is top of mind. Students can still vote in the writing they live in while at school, but should check with their local polling station for more information. Emily Taylor, CHCH News.